Hi guys, it's Pete from MyJewelryBench.com. Today we're going to work on a quartz clock again. This watch or this clock works; it just doesn't keep time, which indicates to me that it's probably just a little dirty or dusty inside. Let's get started. Okay, so I've covered this before and a lot of you have watched that particular video. It's one of my most popular videos on how to clean out a quartz clock. Unfortunately, I did have some music playing in the background and a lot of people complain about that and I'm going to do an updated video now to show you how to take these little quartz clocks apart, check the gears, make sure they're clean, if there's any issues with them um, to go from there. Now we can replace these, uh, but this particular movement works it's just running a little bit slow and like I said that's an indication that unfortunately it is just running a little bit on the dirty side okay to prove to you that this clock works we're just gonna throw a battery in it and just see what's going on here so if you look carefully you'll see that it is turning seems like it's keeping time it's losing about five minutes a day and like I said, that's just an indication that the uh, clock itself, some of the gears in there are just on the dirty side. So let's open this up and find out what's going on inside with it. Okay, so first thing we have to do when you open up or service these is we want to open or we want to pull out the the time set here, this little knob which allows us to set the time. And this just should pull out, and you're going to do that very carefully because you don't want to break it. Sometimes these are keyed. So I'm just gonna gently try to peel it out. And if it doesn't, we'll just go on to the next step, which is to um, open up these tabs. There should be one on either side. Sometimes there's three. We're lucky on this, there's only two. So I'm just going to gently uh, open this tab up, just like so, without cracking it. There we go, just like that. And then we'll do the other side. And again, you just want to be careful not to crack the plastic tab. Otherwise, you're going to end up having to glue it. And that's never a good thing. Gears and glue do not go good together. Subject of another video. So now that I've got that loosened up, I'm going to come over here. And then we have the last remaining clip right there. And we'll just kind of pry that up ever so gently. Just like so. And then when I pull this out, all the gears are going to be a little loose. So I would suggest that when you do this, there we go, just like so, you hold it like that and take a picture of how those gears go all together because we don't want to screw any of these up. The next step is to start pulling these out. So here we've got the long gear, and that's for the second hand. And we've got an intermediate gear here another intermediate gear. This gear here is magnetized and it works with the quartz uh, crystal, which is right here in the coil. You want to be careful with that. Again, that is magnetized. And then this piece is just a cover that covers the three remaining gears. So we have our hour wheel and minute wheel and they all fall here. So let's pull this one out gently. Okay. This is the quartz mechanism. So here is your quartz crystal. And that leads through the circuit board coil here. And on the other side, there's some other, there might be some resistors depending on the type of movement you've got. I'm just gonna leave that in there. Um, it's, there's no reason to pull this out, although I will show you what it looks like. Examine your battery contacts. So for instance, if any of your battery contacts are loose, we can lift those up just to make sure that those are in place. And I'm gently going to put this back into position because we don't want to screw this up. Whatever you do, be careful not to damage the coil because those wires are very gentle and they need to be um, just left in the wound position. If we break any of these, this is not going to work any longer. So I'm going to put that aside. And then we will start examining each of these gears and just make sure that... Uh, 
Let's see if I can focus these a little bit here. We want to make sure that none of the gears have broken teeth on them. So I will look all the way around. Yeah, and that one looks good. The gear looks good too. Let's see. Now I also want to look for any damage to those teeth on the inside of that gear. It's very difficult to see in this light, unfortunately. Um, but you're going to examine all the teeth on the inner part of the gear right there, as well as the perimeter of the large section. And this is one area that typically gets a little dirty, the magnet. Um, so we're just going to look at that. That looks pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's kind of slide my fingers across here. I don't see any dirt, but it is a little rough. I think I'll just clean that a little bit. And look at the pinions. The pinions are the little points of the gears. We're looking for any damage that could be posed to those because if those pinions get worn, cracked, or if they start falling apart, that will cause the clock to run erratically also. <clears throat> Rotico is that sticky clay-like substance that uh, we can rub on gears and it'll just kind of remove any, any debris on them. And what we just do is gently press those into the teeth very carefully. And I do this with both metal and plastic. And we're gonna make sure it doesn't leave any debris on this. And I'm just gonna go around the perimeter of this one gear. So we'll use the Rotico and just kind of go around the perimeter of this. There is a little, it's hard to see with the white gears, but there is a little bit of debris there. And I'm going to see if I can get maybe a better background. The next thing we'll do is we'll examine the, the bottom cover. And I'm looking for signs of, uh, if I see anything that looks obviously bad, if there's debris in here. And a lot of times just take your Rotico and then we will poke it in the holes just to make sure that any wear from the plastic that gets into those holes gets picked up. And I'm just going to do this all the way around to every place that has a gear that it comes in contact with. And here's our set wheel, and you can see that does not come out, so good that we didn't pry it too hard. I'm just going to wipe that off with the Rotico. And I got this little stud here. It shouldn't be there. Now, there is oil that you can use for plastic clock movements and plastic watch movements, and that's what I'm going to use on this. I have some oil that's specifically made for plastics. So I keep this oiler available and it's got some special oil in it and that oil is specifically for plastic movements plastic watch movements and plastic clock movements and yes there are plastic movements and what we want to do when we before we reassemble is this i'm going to take the back cover and i'm just going to put oil in each of the spots where the gears fall and that should keep the gears just lubricated enough you don't put a lot in it, just a little bit. You don't want it to get too um, oily because the oil will actually cause friction. And I think that's good enough. I'm going to look at the inside of this part of the movement. And if you look closely, you'll see dust and debris in there. So I'm going to use the Rotico and pull that all out. I'm going to kind of wedge it into these little plastic pieces because those little plastic pieces are where all the worn plastic from the gears falls and that'll slow down our movement. Okay, grabbing our plastic oil, just gonna go around these little spindles a little bit and you're only putting a little on, just enough to give it a little bit of lubrication. So now it's time for the reassembly of our plastic clock. This is pretty simple in the sense that our plastic clock only goes together one way. And first we have the hour gear and we have the minute wheel. 
and these may go in at a specific rate so if I put this in wrong don't yell at me I'm learning too so hang on a second trying to remember which gear goes where I'm also going to look at that plastic cover and make sure that there's no plastic debris on these and again you're not going to apply a lot of pressure to this because you don't want to break it and again I want to use a little bit of oil on that center spindle just to make sure that it keeps a little bit of lube on it and then we can take get this to assemble correctly that goes there and now we have our magnetic gear and while I've got that in there let's just make sure there's no debris on that Now this little spindle here is what the magnet, when the quartz activates that magnet and turns it. Now that is actually most of the problem with these gears, with these whole clock movements. You end up getting dirt and debris here and that in itself causes the clock to run slow or not run at all. Most of the time, the rest of the, um, the rest of it is fine. Okay, so our clock is reassembled, and now we just have to put the cover back on. So this is the location where the spindle for the time setting is going to go. So that's that little gray gear right there. Uh, I'll show it to you right here. So you can see that little gray wheel that's attached to the black dial on the other side. So that would go right into this location. And again, this is for this particular movement style. Most movements are going to have a little bit of difference in them and then we're gently going to snap this back together and it is we can set the time which is perfect now let's throw our battery back in and make sure she still works it looks good I think we got it all guys I think cleaning that out should help this movement if it does, we're in good luck. I don't have to go find another one because some of these movements, um, you know, this one is, you can see, made in China. And uh, I could get, get one probably on eBay or Alibaba, but to be honest with you, you know, they're so cheap. It's easier just to put a standard Japanese movement in, and those have standard hands with uh, all the right pieces to them. So guys, that's how you clean out a quartz clock. I know I've covered this before. Again, this one does not have any music in the background. I hope you like this video. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help my channel. Uh, it does help with the algorithm. And if you're not a subscriber and would like to see more of these, please hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll be notified with the notification bell. You get a notification every time I upload a video. I cover lots of different things on my channel. I hope you like this video again, guys, and have a great day.